Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where free is too expensive. Hey bro, edit this please. Send me the full resolution photo through email blank, and Venmo me five bucks. Is that how much you charge Drew? No, but he didn't request I do it for him. I just did it for fun in my spare time. Oh, so do me then. Because that's dumb you won't charge him, but you're charging me. You're asking me to do it. If you can spend money on drugs, you can pay me five effing dollars for an hour or two of work. LMAO, I don't spend money on drugs, bundle of sticks. I'm on probation. Okay. So, will you do it? Yeah, for $10. $5 was a deal. That's less than minimum wage. Okay, so why are you gonna charge me and insult me and not charge Drew? He didn't ask me to do it. You are asking me to do it. I'm not insulting you. I'm asking for payment for a service. And you literally just called me a bundle of sticks. Man, I don't think I've ever seen someone whine and moan so much over five bucks. Last night, I walked by a dude who may have been homeless, but maybe wasn't. Lol, I'm not really sure at this point. As I'm walking into this pizza joint, he asked for a slice, and I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine. It's like two bucks per slice. I gotcha. As I'm walking away to grab the pizza, I hear him shouting behind me, hey, can I get a Coke too? And I'm like, this guy is tripping. So I just ignore it and eventually bring out this incredible, beautiful pepperoni and cheese slice of pizza for him. He gives me a funny look, like I'm his mom or something, and I just ordered the wrong Happy Meal for him, and he goes, uh, man, what about a drink? I just shake my head at him and say, I can't do that. I'm standing there in disbelief. It feels like a scene out of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I can get you one slice of pizza, not a big deal, but I cannot keep taking your orders. Would you leave it at a lower price? Sorry, need 250 bucks. Okay, I only have 200. Sorry, need 250 bucks. Okay, thank you. Okay, 125 bucks. Behold, the world's worst negotiator. Hello, I am looking to hire a few bloggers to write for blank. I'm looking for posts every other day or more and pay $5 a month. You'll make connections, have comments on all your posts, and get pro SEO done on your work. It's a great place to develop a reference and grow. $5 a month for daily blog posts? I applied for a janitorial job at a large apartment complex. The interview was a group interview, which I thought was weird, but whatever. I needed a job and some extra cash while I was finishing up my degree. The interviewers went on and on about the goal-oriented and top-level characteristics people needed to have to excel at this open position. They even said something along the lines of, The people we decide to go with will be lucky to be a part of this team. I sat quietly during the entire group interview, which was basically them stating they would only consider the best people for the job. It was cleaning up, vacuuming, picking up trash, washing windows type of job. To be honest, it was kind of a joke. They made it sound so special and proud to be chosen. Then, someone asked a question about buying equipment and supplies. I immediately thought the guy was an idiot for asking who would be responsible for buying it. Obviously, I thought that would be provided by the apartment complex since they would be hiring janitors. Oh man, was I wrong. They let it slip that they would not be providing any of the cleaning supplies or vacuums or anything. All those costs were supposed to be picked up by the specially chosen employee without reimbursement. I walked out of the room at that point. They ended up calling me for the job three times. I had to explain each time that I wasn't picking up the bill to buy cleaning supplies for a minimum wage position. No thanks, and good luck finding a sap to work for you. User Erm What said it best down in the comments. This is like applying to Subway, but having to bring your own fillings. Review, one out of five stars. Hello there, chaps. You've made my six-year-old son cry. Wanna know why? He's patiently waited for this game to come out, only to find out he has to wait eight hours after it's installed. What do you want him to do? Take the effing day of school to play Mario Kart? Not happening, nah mate, not in a hex chance. 
Whoever reads this, I hope you're happy with yourself. He sat next to me in tears asking why it ain't working. I need answer and I need them right now. And just to be clear, this is for a free app. They didn't even have to spend anything on this game. Hey, I got you something for your birthday. Okay, take it back, cause I don't want it. It's not expensive enough for me. The flip I'm gonna do with chocolate and flowers. Do I look like an effing gardener to you and the flip you giving me chocolate for? What you trying to say, I need to gain weight or something? No, it's just a gift. I was trying to be nice because it's your birthday. Well, stop being effing cheap. You in the army, you got money. You could have gotten me an iPhone X or some Gucci slides. Man, I don't know what her problem is. If a guy brought me a literal bouquet of chocolate candy bars, I might be questioning my sexuality. Blank sent you a request for $20. I bought you drinks and we didn't hook up. Because nothing screams romance like, I think your genitals are worth 20 bucks. And also, we have this story from Caleb Blair down in the comments. I had a Tinder date once where I lived in OC and he lived in LA. He asked if I could come more his way since his car was in the shop. So I drove a good two hours his way to the bar he picked. We each had one drink and split an appetizer. He threw down his card without a mention. I said thank you and we went our separate ways. On the drive home, I got two notifications. One was a text asking for another date. The other was a Venmo request for my drink and the appetizer, even though we split the appetizer. The only logical play there would be to send him a Venmo for your gas money. Can you please draw me? You're so good. I don't take requests. Once and if I open up commissions and set some prices, I might. What do you mean prices? Why can't you do it free? Art is a hobby. You don't need money to draw for me. A single realistic portrait can take me four plus hours to draw slash color slash create. Art takes time. Also, supplies cost money. I draw everything by hand traditionally and supplies will eventually run out. Then do digital art so you don't run out of supplies. I can shout you out on my page. I have 117 followers and I will credit you. I don't own a drawing tablet, nor do I have much experience with digital art. Besides, what about the time that I'm taking to draw slash work for you? You wouldn't want to do a job for someone for free, would you? Other artists take less than four hours to do what you do, don't lie. Art is easy and if it's really something you love then you can create for your fans. Why are all you artists so greedy nowadays? I offer to shout you out, please just draw me. It's not that hard. And art isn't a job. Working at an office or a store is. You live a sad life if you just do art for a living. What happened to the non-greedy artists who paint to inspire instead of paint for a check? I hate artists like you. Please just draw me for free or I will show the world how greed you are. Exposure will bring more people to you. You will get more fans and be more famous. Then go to one of those other artists. Or you can draw yourself if you think it's so easy. Kindly stop wasting my time. Also, art is a job. Look at books, posters, anything with a design. That was art that was printed onto something and those people got paid for their work. You can gladly screen cap and share messages if you feel the need to do so. I don't believe any artist should ever work for free. No one should work for free. I don't care about fame and exposure. I care to be able to take care of myself and my family. Have a nice day. You're a greedy B word. I hope you die, you're so rude. OP, I can't believe you turned down a shout out from someone with 117 followers. Hi Blank, how much are you hoping to pick up a Piccadilly for? Just bought a new car, so don't need the Suzuki. The max I can offer is 50 to 100 bucks, whatever you think is fair. I'm having my first baby in April next year and a new car would be great. Congrats, the car is worth $25,000, so couldn't do that. Good luck finding the other ticket though. Thank you, how much are you asking for it so I can get a rough ballpark? I've had people offer 5k. Thanks anyway. It's a nice way you found a loophole to make money. 
Keep up the good work. I let you know I'm expecting a child next year, and you thought it's a good opportunity to try to ask me for more than $5,000 for something you got for free. I could redeem the car and sell it for $20,000. Save your money and spend it on the kid. Hello, yes, someone ejaculated inside of me. So where do I sign up for my free car? Attention local Laredo restaurants. The Laredo Blogger Society is looking for a partner that can accommodate 15 to 17 Laredo Blogger Society influencers and is willing to host us this Friday at 6.30 p.m. Preferably those establishments with a private area in order to accommodate our large party along with hosting us. In return, you will get a potential reach of over 100,000. Instagram stories, establishment mentions, brand awareness, and possible future partnerships. If interested, please contact us via DM or private message. Date is this Friday, October 4th, 6.30 to 10 p.m.-ish. Tag your friends with restaurants. <laughs> I looked these guys up and they have a wait for 1,187 followers. Community posts I make about my dog literally gets more views than these ladies. Hello, could I post your song on my profile? I think it is very good and I think it'll fetch a lot of attention from me and you. Uh, okay? I don't know, if you really do, just tag me or something. Alright, I'll post it immediately for a small fee. USD 10 pounds, very cheap. Once you sent the money, I'll immediately post it on my profile so you'll get lots of viewers. Lol, what? You only have ducking 2k followers, plus I'm not going to pay someone to post my own song. It's okay sir, even I only have 2k followers, you'll still be able to get views. Quick, send money now for easy deal. Dude, no, I'm not going to pay you. You missing out? I need content to support my profile and you need advertisement. I said no. Haha, <laughs> you think your eye care? So what if you don't pay? I still can post your song for myself, haha. <laughs> you should have asked for a discount. Maybe I would have let you, lol. Okay, man, I'll just block you, I guess. Also, if you do post a song without permission, I legally can sue you, so go ahead. Lol, stupid. Lol, stupid. Lol, stupid. Lol, stupid. Hey, are you looking for a new design for your channel's banner? Uh, sure, but I wouldn't be able to pay you. I'm not even monetized yet. That's fine. I would take a shout out instead. I just want to help your channel. I can do that, lol. I can shout you out on my Discord server. Perfect. BRB while I design your banner. Okay. How's this? Dude, that looks awesome. I'll definitely use this. Hey, while I was making this, I actually changed my mind. I need to be paid because I worked really hard on this. I'll give you a deal though, so it would be 40 bucks. Huh? What? I told you, I can't afford paying you. I'm sorry, and I know you worked hard on it, but I can't pay you. I won't use your banner out of respect for your business. Can I still have a shout out for my Instagram? No, I can't do that because the deal was I would use your banner for a shout out. You can't use the banner unless you pay. I know. Here's my PayPal. 40 bucks. I'm not paying you. I won't use your banner. Scam. Dude, what? He left to start working on it at 1136 and returned it at 1201. He worked really hard. And it's funny that he said scam at the end because this is literally a scam that's so common it has its own name. It's called the bait and switch. For reference on this next post, both these people are brothers. The choosing beggar is 25 and OP is 23. Hey, can I buy your old Apple watch? I was thinking 20 bucks. How about this? You help me move my room around a bit and I'll give you it. I just want to move my bed to the other side of the room, the mirror and one of the dressers. Really, shouldn't take more than 30 minutes since I'm helping you. WTF, no. Why can't blank help you? He can, I'm just offering for you to do it so you don't have to pay any money for it. 20 bucks. Take it or leave it. Well, okay, I'll leave it. That's manual labor. Moving labor generally costs 100 bucks an hour. 
30 minutes of labor is 50 bucks. That watch isn't worth 50. What? I'm helping you. So if you want to get ducking technical, that brings it to 25 according to your sucky calculations, which aren't even valid because one, it's not moving labor. We are literally just moving three things across the room. And two, the watch is series three with cellular, so it's worth way ducking more than 50 bucks anyways. No, F that. I'm not doing any manual labor. You got it for free anyway, so you should just give it to me. I'm telling mom. <laughs> Tell her. And I love this response down in the comments. Can you please give him a $20 bill for Christmas and tell him to go buy an Apple watch with it? <laughs> that should work wonders. That was r slash choosing beggars. And if you like this video, please hit that like button because it really helps my channel grow.